Assalamualaikum, selamat pagi. Doktor Syarina ada ke? Salam, ya, ya, saya ada. Doktor boleh dengar clear ke? Ya, clear. Okey, Doktor Mati. Good morning. Ah, uh, morning. I'm okay. Boleh dengar. Okey, clear eh, Doktor? Ah, uh, clear, clear. Okey, thank you. So kita bagi uh, participant untuk uh, scan QR dulu ya. Okey, baik. Okey, kita akan start pukul 10 ya, Doktor. Okey, okey. Okey. Um, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all participants uh, for today's uh, talk. Uh, introductions to Mendeley for reference management uh, we backs, right? So uh, I'm Dr. Nasharina Binti Zabidi. Uh, we'll be the moderator for today's uh, talk, right? And Together with us today is uh, TS Dr. Matibanan Jaganathan uh, as the speaker for today's um, talk for the introductions uh, on Mendeley, right? So before we pass the floor to TS Dr. Matibanan uh, Jaganathan, uh, I would like to uh, inform a bit about TS Dr. Matibanan. Uh, basically, uh, he is my colleague uh, in SBF, all right? Uh, TS Dr. Mati Bernan is uh, the senior lecturer in School of Business Management, Mystic Tara, Malaysia. And uh, he served as the director of Career Development Center uh, from uh, 2021 until 2022, okay? Uh, and he also, uh, as what uh, being awarded uh, as one of the professional uh, technologies, right? Uh, and a bit about uh, Dr. Matibanan's uh, education background. Uh, Dr. Matibanan's uh, graduated uh, from University Utara, Malaysia. Uh, he also have a master business administration from uh, UUM together with the Bachelor of Technology Management, also from uh, UUM, all right? So, uh, 
the next one is about the professional uh, qualifications of our speakers today, the Astro Tumati Banan. Uh, uh, the Astro Tumati Banan have uh, be a member uh, of Google Cloud Certified uh, in G Suite, okay, and he also uh, one of the professional technologies, all right, and. Uh, diploma uh, in digital entrepreneurship, okay, uh, have also uh, owned professional certificates for entrepreneur educator in Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia, okay, uh, and he also the lead auditor and uh, for quality management system, uh, and then uh, become one of the advisor or certified trainer for today's talk, which is Mendeley Reference Manage, uh, Management Software System. And he also is a trainer, uh, Weebly Web Design Applications, uh, trainer for WordPress Web Design and Development, uh, and also certified content creator. Okay, uh, so uh, the yeah, so, Mati Bainan have a lot of uh, award and honor, so I will uh, inform uh, the latest award that he received. Okay, uh, he received a uh, award uh, of favorite website uh, award winner for 2022 uh, for the category of personal website uh, category. Okay, and also he uh, received um, an award for Malaysia website award. Uh, 2021 by Esobite Group. Okay, so uh, thank you very much once again for all of the participants uh, who joined uh, today's uh, talk, uh, which is about uh, the Mandela Reference Management introductions. Okay, so uh, I don't want to uh, prolong the introductions anymore because uh, all of us are excited to uh, learn and have uh, new knowledge about uh, Mandela, I believe. Right, so uh, the to Mati Banas, the floor is yours. And just want uh, to inform everyone for the uh, QR code will be checked again at the end of this talk. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sharina. Uh, my voice is clear and audible. Okay, yes, Dr. Clear. Okay, clear. Okay, if any problem, just let me know because uh, I'm connected to the wireless, sometimes disconnected. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much uh, to the postgraduate studies and uh, Puan Nisa and as well as uh, Dr. Dr. Sharina uh, for the opportunity to share about the Mendeley uh, Reference Manager. Okay, uh, so it's a long introduction. If you know more about myself, uh, uh, okay. Uh, I think my screen is visible. My print. Okay. So if you want to know uh, more about myself, so you can go to the website. Okay. Let me introduce myself. Uh, I've been introduced very long uh, by Dr. Nor Herina. If you want to go, uh, if you want to know further, you may go to my website and you can get uh, even few notes from here. Notes and details uh, that I upload over here. Okay, in fact, I upload, I'm not sure whether I upload the Mendeley notes or not, uh, but other notes you can get it uh, from here, uh, like a thesis template uh, and some other things, okay, which is very important for the thesis writing. <clears throat> okay, uh, just hold on, uh, one minute. And our session going to be uh, 10 to 12, it's two hours. I hope I can cover the important things uh, in the reference manager, which is Mendeley. Okay. So you can go to my website, this is my website, and you can access and get some materials over here. Okay, you can download um, from my website. Okay, if you go to download, so I have a few things, like a UEM thesis template. If you want to download the UEM thesis template, okay, you can download and some other uh, training slides and so on. 
you can download from here. Okay. Uh, Mendeley, I have not uploaded. And another important thing you can download, one is UEM thesis template. Another one is uh, this one. John Molly, the academic praise bank. This is very useful for your thesis write up. Okay, from the John Molly. Uh, I got it free last time, but now the updated version, I think they are uh, uh, start to sell. Okay. Okay, anyway. So let me straight away go to the Mendeley. Okay. Uh, why Mendeley? There is a reason why Mendeley, even though there are a lot of uh, software which is alternative to the Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. Uh, how many of you currently using Mendeley or any other software? EndNote, Zotero, because we do have a lot of software, you know, uh, Viptex and so on. So anyone using? Maybe you can raise your hand. So at least I know. Some of you are still using ah uh, rain. Okay. Some of you using Mendeley, but there is a method to use Mendeley. You cannot use blindly. If you use blindly, it can cause some problem, especially error in reference uh, generation. When you generate your reference list, if you wrongly uh, manage your reference manager, it's going to be disaster result. Disaster means everything wrong. And your examiner definitely will comment about that. Okay, then you cannot blame Mendeley Reference Manager. Oh, I'm using Mendeley, that's why it's become like this. Many students came to me and telling about this issue. It's not about Mendeley, it's about the user. So user supposed to uh, manage or use Mendeley correctly. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, error everywhere. Okay. So that's why you must know uh, how to uh, manage reference and also how to cite. So I will cover most of the things. Okay. Uh, for your information, uh, Mendeley is belong to Elsevier. Elsevier, it's you know Scopus.com. Scopus.com is under Elsevier. Okay. Elsevier control the Scopus. And for your information, LCV is not an American company. Most of us, we, uh, we thought, oh, it's an American company. No, no, no. It's not American company. LCV is a Dutch company. It's from Netherlands. Okay, it's from Netherlands. So they are the one who control uh, Scopus. And why I'm talking about LCV? Because Mendeley bought over by LCV year 2013. Okay, it was bought over or acquired by LCV. Now is fully controlled and else Mendeley is completely free up to 5 GB storage. If you want to go, uh, I think 5 GB or 2 GB, let, let us check. Maybe now change. If you want to upgrade, you can upgrade up to 10 GB. Okay. Like myself, I can use uh, maximum storage because I'm a Mendeley advisor. So Mendeley certified trainer, so I can use. Even you can apply also uh, with several uh, Updates and also you have to uh, update your portfolio. Okay, then only you can apply for the Mendeley Advisor. Okay, forget about that. So 2013 LCV were bought over by the Dutch company. And for your information, this Mendeley was invented or was developed by the frustrated PhD students. Three PhD students they developed the software so called Mendeley. Okay. And they came up with the idea of reference manager, even though at that time EndNote is very famous. <laughs> EndNote belongs to the another uh, rival company, rival company for the Elsevier, which is Thomson Reuters, Web of Science, okay, WOS, okay. Okay, forget about EndNote. Okay, I use EndNote also, but very rare. Most of the time I will use Mendeley, okay. Okay, Mendeley was introduced by three PhD students. Uh, their name is uh, Paul Fockler, Victor Henning, and another one, I forgot already. Uh, I think their name is uh, Jen Ratchet, something like that. Okay, three PhD students. Okay, so now Mendeley help you from another PhD student. Okay, P uh, Mendeley 
they have gone through you know uh, several uh, update stages okay but i will explain a little bit how does mendeley can help you assist you and for your information if you want to publish paper in any reputable journal any reputable journal underscore or web of science or whatever journal you must and it's mandated or compulsory you must use any reference manager either mendeley or endnote because publisher will ask your reference in the endnote or mendeley format if not they won't accept okay it's a compulsory don't go and argue with your supervisor i'm very okay with that uh what's so called manual style i'm familiar i don't want to use mendeley there is no way if you want to publish you will stuck then some student find out myself they will come to me doctor i want to publish now i have a problem i want to switch from the manual to mendeley i will teach also how to switch from mendeley from manual to mendeley but it's very tedious job okay uh, so what i'm trying to say is uh there is no way to escape you have to use the reference manager make your life easy make publish life easy and also your professor's life easy okay and mendeley is not only reference manager it's beyond than reference manager so in two hours i will teach all of uh, tips and tricks of the mendeley reference manager and how it could help you in terms of getting uh, right literature through mendeley.com okay uh, i hope two hours sufficient okay i try to finish two hours because normally i will go for four hours so i have to make it within two hours okay. uh okay so what is the purpose of having mendeley mendeley only four things only four tasks organize your references second is read and annotate your references it's mean you can open your pdf and also you can annotate it open read and annotate annotate mean you can highlight and remark write a remark for the important points no need to print okay third is you can cite cite mean while you are writing you can cite your references not you write 10 pages then only you cite it's going to be a warrior but by using mendeley it's very organized uh, software you can cite while you write okay uh, we call it C W Y W. Cite Y U write. Okay, that's a concept. Okay, and the last function, important function, is collaborate. <coughs> if let's say uh, I'm Dr. Mahadi, okay, I'm writing a paper with Dr. Sharina and also with another person. Okay, so we can collaborate in one. We are using different mentally, but we can collaborate. Whatever article that I save, Dr. Sharida can see, and she can cite for the same article that we are writing. Okay, seamless writing, we call it. Okay, simultaneous writing is a strategy. But for the PhD student, you cannot do. Because PhD is a, a lonely, lonely journey. Eh? It's not a collaborative research. You can collaborate only with your supervisor, not with others. If you collaborate with others, that is not PhD. Okay, that is something else. Okay. Okay, so uh, this one, I think, okay, I'll, I will share this one. Uh, I think all of this, I will teach you uh, hands on approach. Okay, hands on approach. Uh, this is just additional notes for you. Okay, so I think I can switch off this one. Okay. All of these I will explain through hands on approach. Okay. First of all, okay, let me show to you. Now there are two types of Mendeley reference manager for the Mendeley. One is Mendeley desktop, another one is a Mendeley reference manager. I will show to you both 
but I strongly recommend to use Mendeley Desktop rather than Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay, these two softwares. And Mendeley Desktop, initially, uh, I think two years back, I think, two years back, they suspended the update, but software still function, still under control of the NCVR. Now they introduce Reference Manager. You can use, but for me, it's uh, quite complicated or not so user friendly compared to Mandarin desktop. But I will show to you both. And you can use both at same time. No issue. Okay. How does it looks like? Okay. Before you install, I give you the method. Huh? I mean I, I show to the so called the inter uh, the so called display of the Mendeley. Look at this one. This is Mendeley Desktop. Okay, so I will use two accounts. One is my primary account and another one my training account. So today I will use my training account. First, I will access my own account. I'm using this account since 2011. 13 years I'm using Mendeley. I think 2010 I start to use. Uh, 2011 or 2010. Okay, something like that. Okay, somewhere like. Okay. This is my account. And make sure you stay signed in better. Okay. Stay signed in and I sign in. So this is the mentally desktop. So it's updating. So the beauty of Mendeley, okay, let me tell you the beauty of Mendeley. Mendeley is a cloud-based application. Cloud means whatever you keep in your Mendeley, it will be kept in your computer and also it will be kept in your cloud. If your computer corrupted or your computer lost, you don't need to worry. You install your Mendeley in the new computer and you just log in, you will get the reference list, all of this, and also your thesis reference as you lost. It's fully recoverable. No need to worry. Last time when you use the manual, if your article gone, gone. If your thesis gone, gone. You cannot recall. But with the Mendeley, you can recall back because it's a cloud base. Okay? You see, in my Mendeley, I have 5,620 documents, including TCs, journal, and so on. And I categorize my papers, my collection of articles, according to the uh, folder and so on. You see, I have a books. Okay, I have a books. For example, I have a book of, uh, let's say, <laughs> multivariate analysis, or whatever book, okay? So I can open like this, then I can read. So that's the beauty of Mendeley desktop. Okay. So this is so-called Mendeley library. This is Mendeley folders and also all documents. If you click all documents, I can just hold on. Eh? Okay, uh, sorry, uh, that was <laughs> important call. Okay, so back to this one. This is my Mendeley library. I can use my Mendeley 
So very simple. I keep my files and I start to use. How I use? Very simple. People will keep the file over here and they straight away site. That is wrong. You must know some tips and tricks in the Mendeley because Mendeley potentially can make mistake. Okay, for example, let's say I have an article like this. Let's say I have a like this article like this. Okay, so I want to cite by using Mendeley. The life is very easy. Okay, so normally we will use uh, two type of citation. Okay, two type of citation, which is uh, in-text citation. Eh? Under in-text citation, we have a two type of citation: parentheses and also narrative. Okay, I think you know about this one. This one in text. Parenthesis mean according to Ali 2000. Uh, that is parenthesis. Okay, parenthetical citation. Another one is in text citation. Bracket inside. Uh, that is in text citation. Two type of citation. Okay. Let's say I want to cite this one. It's very easy. I just go here. It's connect to my Mendeley. Okay. The training is just 10 minutes finished. <laughs> no. Okay. It's supposed to be, uh, you must know the stepwise. Okay. I go to Mendeley like this by using a uh, so called uh, Mendeley desktop. Okay. Let's say this, this three papers. Okay. These three papers or four papers, I want to cite. I can cite one paper like this. It's become one. You know why? That is the reason. Because I choose IEEE. If I choose American Psychological 6, it's going to be like this. If I choose 7th, it's going to be shorter. Because six, APA 6 and APA 7, if your thesis, you want to write longer, Go for six. If you want shorter, go for seven. You see how it's happened. APA six going to be like this. APA seven shorter. Boom. See? Because APA seven, first time, more than three waters or two or three waters, if I'm mistaken, is going to be at all. If sixth edition, second citation, more than three, third, three waters, okay, if I'm mistaken, is going to be at all. First time, if you have a 40 authors, 40 authors will be in, in the in-text in citation. Okay. If let's say I want to add more, I just want to show how it's happened. Then I will go step by step. Okay. I want to add more. I can add, click control. I can choose many as I want. Boom. Uh, it's going to be like this. Then I will combine this much. Uh, it's very short, am I right? If I choose APA 7, <laughs> sorry, <coughs> APA 6 is longer. Boom. You see, APA. Then I will go to reference, am I right? References. Then I click. But not all the type of fact. Sometimes error. Why? I will discover all of this throughout the training. Okay. But only two things. Cite and reference. That's it. But you can go beyond this in your reference manager. Some so I to change to the I. I click. I change to any other thing. Whatever style I want. Okay. If I want a modern language or Chicago, boom. It's going to be Chicago style. 
Chicago style, quite different. Okay, compared to APA. Looks similar, but not same. This is reference manager, make your life easy. Okay, now, any question? If you do have any question, you can, you can ask, or you can hold your question, and you can ask uh, in the end of session. Okay. So, I have this one. That is Mendel desktop. Another one is Mendeley Reference Manager. If you go to Mendeley.com, most of the time, Mendeley will ask you to install Mendeley Reference Manager. So I'm connecting to the same, okay? I'm connecting to the same. Both software, same software, but Mendeley Desktop is easier than Mendeley Reference Manager based on my experience. And when you update in Mendeley Desktop, it will be updated in the Mendeley Desktop as well. And also, it will update. Okay, I'll to you. Please, second. Dr. Matikanan, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Um, uh, suara putus-putus lah. Kadang-kadang boleh dengar, kadang tak boleh dengar. And then, the, the slide itself uh, static. Oh. Okay, let me wait there. Hold on. Okay. Uh, now, yes. Okay. Uh, I know. Always, whenever I conduct any online class, definitely internet will give problem to me. Always try try to block me from doing anything. That's why I'm going to the cable connection. If not okay, I will switch to my mobile connection. Okay. Now I see. Okay, should be okay. Okay. So from Mendel Desktop, I come to Mendel Reference Manager. Only right there. Thing happened. My Mendel Reference Manager, you still can cite, but you cannot cite by using uh, a reference function. You have to use Mendel cite. That is quite difficult. Not difficult. A uh, bit, how? I will say a uh, bit not convenient. Okay. Okay. Later, I will show to you in this one. Okay. So, if I use Mendeley Reference Manager, I cannot use this one. I have to use Mendeley Site. Another button. But normally, I won't use this one. I will use Mendeley Desktop. Then I have to connect. It will go to uh, LCVR. <laughs> so your references will be populated here. And when you write something, So it's still loading. It will take time. That's why I normally I won't recommend to use reference manager, even though it's highly recommended by the LCVR. Because they force us to use this software. Okay, never mind. Um, it's updating. Okay. Okay. Now I will teach from how to register until 
how to update like this and how to sign. Okay. Okay. First of all, go to Mendeley.com. Mendeley. com so when you go to mendel.com it's going to be like this there are two ways to create account first you download to mendel you download first download Uh, Dr. Mativana is still lagging. And, and the slide is not moving. Yeah, the slide is not moving and also uh, it's still lagging. We could, we could, uh, sometimes we can hear you, sometimes we cannot hear you. Now okay? Now, is it okay? Okay, okay. Uh, we can see you. But just now the slide is not moving, it's static. And also okay. your voice, sometimes we can hear, sometimes we cannot hear. So, the putu putus. What about others? Because my internet connection is okay. Maybe on the other side, your side. Uh, from the student side, uh, we also have the same issue. Uh, they are writing inside the chat. Oh, same problem. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there is one question, not adding page number. Later, I will answer this question. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. And can okay. see the slides. Okay. Now, mendeley.com. You go to mendeley.com. You have option, you know, you can create account. If you do have any previous account, don't create a new account. You cannot merge the account, you know, it's going to be difficult. You just continue. If possible, use your organization email. Okay. Uh, if student, maybe you can use Gmail, no problem. Okay. If lecturers, use organization email. Okay. <laughs> Click download. And it's already downloaded. Okay, click download now for Windows. And this one already downloaded. You install. It's, it's very easy actually, but complicated. I will go for the Mendel desktop. Okay. Then after that, what do you do? You go to download Mendel desktop. Mendel desktop, you have to download from here. Okay. I will share the link. We'll go to this link, share in the uh, normally I will recommend this one. Eh? Okay. I think now okay, everything clear. So you click that link and you download this one, Mendel Desktop, okay, 1.19.5 for Windows, click. <laughs> and download and install it, okay. I already installed, so you can install it, this one, Mendel Desktop. So once you install, you will see once you install both, you will see Mendeley Reference Manager and also Mendeley Desktop. I will cover both. First of all, go to Mendeley.com, create account first. Okay. Like myself, I already have an account. Okay. So try to create one account. <coughs> Okay, uh, let's say 
I create one account. Eh? FRGS NAS at gmail.com. Continue. And I have to give name, you know. And your family name, like myself, my father's name. And I create password. Very simple way. Okay. Stay. Sign in. Okay. And register. If you do have an account, don't create anymore. Okay. Now you see. So this is the third platform. You have Medstop, you have a Mendeley Reference Manager. This is so-called Mendeley Cloud. You will have a library here. Now everything is empty because it's a new account. But if I go to my existing account, okay, so-called, uh, this account, uh, you see here, uh, I sign in. Uh, let's say, try another account. I use my existing account. You see, my library, same like just now. I showed to you in Mendel Desktop, right? It's going to be same. Oh, sorry. Okay. So my library going to be very, very big library. You see, I can see everything here. Article writing, bibliometric, same thing. So called is the cloud. That's so when your computer corrupted, write your thesis with the same reference list. You don't need to worry because it can detect. Okay, no worries about that. You see, the same thing. I have all references. Okay, you see. And I can open these references over here also. And this, some references, I don't have file. Some I have file. For example, this one I have file. I can click, I can open and read. But the problem is, sometimes it will stop because of the internet. Okay? Uh, it will open actually. Okay. But I'm not going to use this account. I will switch back to the, my previous account. Uh, I sign out. Okay. You can check the settings. Eh? Settings. Uh, subscription. Uh, you can check all of this in your account. Like myself, I got 10 GB. You guys, I think, get 3 GB or 5 GB. Okay. I got 5, 10 GB because I'm a trainer. I give I get a free one. If you want to buy, you can buy. Okay. How to buy? I will let you know. But I think 5 GB is more than enough for one PhD. Okay. I sign out. I go to my new account. Is everything okay? Can you follow? So there are some questions uh, inside the chat spot, Dr. Mati. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever I try to sync my Mendeley, it tells me network access disabled. Uh, the, which one? Mendeley desktop or Mendeley reference or Mendeley.com. How many files we can save, Doctor? I think it can go up to 5 GB free one. Okay, 5 or 3. Last time they give five. I'm not sure about right now. Maybe five or so. <laughs> How many files mean? I think one file is around only uh, 500 KB. You can go up to 2,000 files. No problem. Don't keep your videos. Eh? Keep the PDF file. Okay. I cannot sign in using my organization email. 
it states that only work for browser-based version. Is it possible for me to use desktop version? Uh, which organization? And I can't get your gist of the question. Okay, I will respond to this one. Okay. It is possible for me to use desktop version. No, you must create account first. Then only you can use whatever platform, desktop or reference manager or mandate.com. You must have one account. If cannot, you use your Gmail. Try to use your Gmail. But normally, if let's say your email is your email, definitely can, no problem. Okay. Or mandate desktop can. Okay. <coughs> okay. I use this one. Okay. So this is my library. Okay. As I told you, Mendeley Reference Manager is not only site and reference. It's more than that. I will come to you uh, about this function. This function is very, very important function. Welcome to Mendeley. Search for and you can direct in your you only download and keep in your uh, file or folder okay how to do that very simple okay first of all okay mendeley reference uh manager i don't want this one so what i will do uh, uh Okay, I log out first. Go to the account setting also. Account setting will go to uh, this one preferences. You can check preferences. Okay. But I sign out first. I go to my new account. I have to go a little bit uh, faster because only two hours. Okay, for the first time user, you can check your preferences over here. This one, nothing. Okay, no worries about that. You can check your account setting. This is your setting. It will create your Scopus profile. Okay, you see. If you want to close, you can close your Mendeley account. Okay, and you can update all of this. And you can click your Scopus profile. You can connect to your Scopus profile, but I'm not going to connect because I'm already, I mean myself already connect to the another account. Subscription, if you want to upgrade. Ah. Oh, sorry. Uh, this time they only give 2 GB, not 5 GB. Yeah? Last time different. Okay, only 2 GB. 2 GB is more than enough. If you want to upgrade, you can upgrade. Boom. You can click. Ah. If you want 5 GB, you have to pay $5 per month. But I will recommend in order to upgrade. Need not to upgrade because 2 GB more than enough for one PhD. Okay. Ah. I'm using this account, pro account, because my account is a privileged account. That's why I'm using this one. Okay. But functions, same. All the functions, similar. Except storage. Done. Okay. So this is so-called Mendeley Reference Manager. First of all, to activate your Mendeley uh, citation in your Word, okay, you have to download Mendeley site. Very important. And another one. Those who are using unlicensed version of the Word, you will face a lot of problem. You must have a licensed product of Word, Microsoft Word. First. Second is your Microsoft Word must be updated one, not the year 2000, 20 years back. Don't use Microsoft Office 
and don't say uh, my office asked me to use so i cannot help you it's always happened someone some student come and see me I, when i check they cannot use another one is wps wps office you cannot use mentally problematic okay for the UEM student, I think you can use Microsoft 365. You may use that. It will help you. Okay. First of all, download Mendeley site. Okay. And click get it now. And you have to log in by using your account. Okay. Your Microsoft account. This is not your uh, Mendeley account. Eh? That's why, you know, I don't like Mendeley Reference Manager because a bit tedious. But you just access like this. Like myself, I have an account. You can create also one Microsoft account. Okay. So I have to log in. So once I click all of this, I will get something like this in my Microsoft Word. Then only I can cite. Okay, what you will get once you do that, you will get, you click references, this one. After layout there, eh, you click references. You will get this button, Mendeley site. This is for the Mendeley Reference Manager, but today I will focus on Mendeley Desktop. Okay. What about Mendeley Desktop? Okay, Mendeley Desktop. Okay. Uh, forget about this one. Eh? Okay. I don't want to touch about this one. I minimize. I go to Mendeley Desktop. It's more convenient and easy for the beginners. Okay. You can register from here also. Can. You click register this button. It will go to mendeley.com. Okay. And download Mendeley Reference Manager. Also can. But now I go to this one. FRGS and okay at gmail.com. And make sure you stay sign in. Otherwise, every time you have to log in. Okay, sign in. For the first time, when you install Mendeley Desktop, you won't see the Mendeley Reference Manager in your Word, like this. If you go to Reference, there is no Reference Manager, am I right? There is no Mendeley over here, this region. You click References, there is no References over here. By default, you have a Microsoft References. Uh, this one, very difficult, don't use this one. Eh? Okay. You have this one. Okay, I... First, you close your all Microsoft applications. Close. First, you open micro, uh, your Mendeley reference. Oh, sorry. Mendeley desktop is going to be empty like this. Nothing. Am I right? It means you just started to use the Mendeley desktop. Okay. Let me check. Is there any question? Okay, then first of all, you click tools, you click install MS Word plugin, this one, this button. Once you click this one, installed. Okay, so now I go to Microsoft Word, I can see the reference region. Boom. I go to references. I can see that. Can you see this one? It's already here. So now I can use Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay, Mendeley Desktop. Okay. This is for the Mendeley Reference Manager. This is for the Mendeley Desktop. Okay. 
So now I will teach you one by one how to use that. Okay. First, there is no many functions. Okay. Search function. Search function means once you update your library, let's say you have a 5,000 files. You cannot click and check one by one. What you can do, you can search over here. Okay. Second is, okay, go to tools again. And you can go to get Mendeley site, but you skip that one. Okay. Second is, okay, the most important, forget about this, install web importer. What is this actually? Okay. Web importer means it's a Google extension. When you use Google extension, you go to Google Scholar. You can directly import your references from Google Scholar. In fact, from the scopus.com also. You can directly import. Okay. First of all, you click get web importer. We can create a automatic library. Get web importer. Add to like this. Okay. This one. Like myself, I remove first eh, because I already have. My God. Okay. I add to Chrome. First step, go to tools, install web importer. It will direct you to here. Okay, direct you to this place. Get web importer. It will redirect to this place and add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay. It's already added, but the problem is you cannot see in this region. What you have to do is you click this button, jigsaw puzzle button, click this one, and you activate. You click this button, boom. Uh, then only you can see this, this button. Okay. How does it function? Okay. It's function like this. Google Scholar. You go to Google Scholar. Let's say Google Scholar. You go and find out one article. Let's say you find out article, um, cloud computing. Okay. So, uh, but sometimes this uh, this button problematic, doesn't function. But you can try. Okay. You click this one. Uh, can we use Mendeley Web Importer on other browser? This one is a Google Chrome extension. If you use Mozilla, I think they have different one. Okay, try. But I'm not sure because sometimes Elsevier uh, discontinued their service. Okay, but better Google Chrome. Okay, I use this. I click Google Chrome. Uh, Sometimes doesn't function. Okay. <laughs> okay, now functioning. You have to try, make sure you log in the account. Okay. Ah, you see? Cloud computing, this cloud computing. Ah, PDF not found. PDF not found. If PDF found, better you click there with the PDF. Okay, uh, this one, this one, uh, let's say I choose this one, this four, I choose. I click add to Mendeley. Okay. So, you see, now it's already here. I did not download anything. It's already here with PDF. You see? And it will be 
simultaneously will be updated in three platform reference manager mendeley desktop and also mendeley library this is mendeley desktop this is mendeley reference manager and this is mendeley.com i click library it will be here also you see here okay so it's updating boom you see magic this is so called cloud computing and with file this one without file so can i open can i click this one boom it's open okay this is a one of the way clear i think it's clear okay this is one of the way to update your library but don't simply update you have to read the article uh, from google scholar then only you update don't simply update as you want okay this one you want only 2024 you click 2024 and you can click boom okay it will come your internet must be quite fast okay then only it will function otherwise you have to wait uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes don't use 3 megabyte uh, use uh, high speed internet if your file no pdf later you can update the pdf for this reference when you update it will be automatically updated or you can update here files click files and update manually also can here in the metadata okay first function eh, most important function you can use science direct also there are some students ask to me doctor can i use scopus.com to download the article come on scopus.com not the place to download the article scopus.com is a bibliographic database it just give you the abstract link to the article that's it you cannot download the article if you tell me I download the article from scopus.com, something wrong. Okay, you cannot download article from scopus.com. Okay, you can download article from the LC, I mean the uh, Emerald, Science Direct, and so on. Okay, let's say I download article from here, Cloud Computing. Okay, and I said. I want only open access. It's been freely download, like available to download. Okay. And I click Mendel Desktop. It will function. <laughs> because sign direct also from the LCVR. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now I click one, two. Hey, normally I won't click like this. Huh? I will read and click. But for the training purpose, I just click. I click like this. Okay. Boom. Add to Mendeley. Okay. It's adding. Now I can see here. Every time for the Mendeley, you click this button, sync. Sync means it connect to the internet. And update. So now it's updating. You see, I directly download from Science Direct all of the articles that I have picked. Okay, I have chose. Okay, it has been chosen by myself. Okay. Ah, you see, and I can open because it's already got PDF. Boom. Okay. This is the first method to update your library and also your literature materials. Apart from this, there are another method. Okay. Finish the this function. This one, I think. This one is a library citation, library as table. Uh, you can see like this. And also, you can view citation style, uh, IE or sixth edition. Okay, like this. 
So library citation, library as citation like this. So this is not important. This one also don't bother about this. Okay. How to update file manually? There are only four functions. Add files, add folder, watch folder, add entry manually. Okay, add files mean boom. I click add files and I keep some files over here manually. So I have some files over here. Uh, I can add, click this, I open, it will be updated automatically. Included, see, this file already included. Okay, so I can open and see. Okay, uh, so because I can update many files also, sorry, this one, this one, open. Now, Two files updated manually. Okay. Apart from this, there are few ways to update the file. Okay. Another way is you have one folder. You have a thousand files. You want to import completely. You can click folder and you can choose the folder from the place or the location that you have kept the file. Okay. Like myself, I keep my file in desktop. I go to desktop. Boom. Where is my desktop? Eh? Okay, this is my desktop. So I keep uh, this is my folder. So I want all files from this folder come over here, imported here. Okay, I click OK. You see, all files from that folder updated automatically. And it will be shown in a blue color. It's been newly updated. So now I have a 22 documents in my library. Okay. If let's say you are reading a newspaper, there is no any soft copy. If you want to update, what you can do is you can add entry manually. <laughs> newspaper. You can update manually, you know, bill, book, book section, case, computer program, conference proceeding, encyclopedia, generic, hearing. You know hearing? Uh, we call it personal communication. For example, Dr. Sharida is the director of the uh, postgraduate studies. So I go and ask you question. So I quote her words in my text. That is hearing, personal communication. You can put author, year, everything. Okay, let's say newspaper different. Okay, what article? Okay, cloud computing. If you go to this one, okay, author, let's say, uh, Noor Sharina, let's say, Noor Sharina, she is the author of that article, newspaper article, okay, uh, and publication, year, everything you update, then you save, okay, the most important is the month, day, city, URL also you can put, okay, URL, uh, normally, newspaper article, no abstract. Eh? By default, they put it all of that. Okay, the most important city, day, month, uh, name, publication, year. Okay, that's it. Safe. Okay. Apart from this, three methods add file, add folder, add inventory. What is this? Watch folder. Watch folder is the laziest, most laziest method. Laziest method, okay? We go for the laziest method. Okay, what folder is? Okay, let's say you have one folder. Okay, your folder name is watch folder like this. And okay, let's say I rename watch folder 
आके पीजी ट्रेनिंग सो नॉर्मली यू विल गो टू साइंस डायरेक्ट एमरल यू डाउनलोड द आर्टिकल एंड यू वांट टू इंपोर्ट योर आर्टिकल इनटू मेंडली लाइब्रेरी लाइक दिस ओके बट इफ यू वांट टू ऐड फाइल्स मैन्युअली इट विल टेक टाइम व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन मेक इट ऑटोमेटेड how to make it automated okay you connect your folder which you have created watch folder pg training okay you connect you can connect many folder okay you connect watch folder okay like myself i connect to my desktop file it's in my mendeley folder ah uh, this watch folder yeah, i tick boom apply so now my mendeley and this folder already connected so whenever i download any article and i keep files in this folder it will be updated automatically in my mendeley this is how you manage your library okay okay i go to the uh size direct okay let's say i go to this one quantum computing yeah okay let's say i go for the quantum computing okay maybe you think why i put this asterisk there is a reason eh if you don't put this one computer database it will search quantum and computing as a different term you want to search for the one term right quantum computing work engagement technology adoption is a term is not a word is a term because normally in your research you will go for the term you know term become a construct work engagement is a construct variable actually is a term okay is a term so go for the term So when you go for term, you use this apostrophe. Okay. For example, ah, if I search here, without this, I will get different result. Okay. Ah. First, it will search like this. After that, ah, ah, it will go a warrior. For example, ah, I search digital marketing. Ah, you see. digital food and beverage marketing that is not my search purpose my search purpose is digital marketing so i put this one boom so i will get exactly what i want okay see digital marketing uh, digital marketing digital marketing digital marketing and you see So okay, now go to watch folder. I want to download article. So what I can do? I click this one, and I download this article from Helion. Okay, Helion. This one. I download and I keep in my watch folder. Boom. I keep it here. It. will be added automatically in the so called mendeley desktop and also in the mendeley reference manager and also in mendeley library automatically and make sure you connect to the internet that is very important okay then i click okay this one eh wait there eh? so i have to click sync so make sure you connect to the watch folder desktop mendeley and this watch folder watch folder pg training okay <laughs> okay 
So this one, uh, this article. So this one already in this, see, addressing a decision. This is the article that I downloaded just now. Am I right? I just download in this watch folder is already there. Same goes. If you want to download many articles also can. For example, in Science Direct, you can download many articles at one time, you know. You click this one, this one, click like this. Uh, this one you can download. You click and you can download all articles, all four articles. But this one going to be zip file. Okay. So that is how you update your so-called library. Okay. Is there any question? Can we use Mendeley Web Importer or any other browser? Okay. Can Mendeley work perfectly on Android phone? Okay. Last time, uh, Mendeley provide the Android apps. Now, no more. Okay. Now it's suspended. Okay. Now no more ready. Okay. Doctor, how about the printed material? Can we add into Mendeley reference list? Can. As I told you, add entry manually. This one. You choose the category. You want encyclopedia or case or book section or book, whatever is it. Okay. Generic report, or whatever is it. Okay. Uh, you can, for example, government report, thesis. You can keep your thesis, web page, working paper, whatever is it. Okay, you can put manually. I hope I answer the question. Okay. Okay. Hi, sorry. So, hope I have Covered most important function, install, create an account, update your library. Now I have 23 documents. Okay. So now I want to add more article. I just use add folder. I go to my desktop. Okay. I go to... This folder, article, boom. Uh, more article added here. So now I have 33 article or 33 uh, manuscripts. It can be conference paper, it can be journal, it can be report, it can be newspaper, magazine article, whatever is it, you can keep it. Okay. <laughs> oh, why is Mendeley not adding page number on the reference list? There is a way. Okay, there is a way. Okay. Uh, when you want to add the page number, you have to do the direct quotation. There is a way of writing. Okay. But don't overquote. If you overquote, your write-up is going to be a problem. Okay. Later, I will explain this one. During citation. Okay. Okay. Now everything done in our library okay there are few things you have to take into account now i want to go beyond mendeley a little bit okay with mendeley what you can do you can do wonders okay what wonders you can do okay if you go to mendeley.com <coughs> okay when you Go to mendeley.com, only three functions. Search, library, and your profile detail. When I click profile detail, only this. Okay. Okay, forget about this. I go to library. With library, what I can do? Okay. So this is a library. Can I open and read? Can. I can open, but you see, sometimes 
it will take time. You see, I can still can read and I can do a lot of wonder things. Okay. Before I go to the Mendeley, okay. Wow. Is the library here? Yeah? Library is very simple. As I told you. Nothing else. Whatever I update in Mendeley desktop, already updated. Okay. If not updated, you click this button. Sync. Boom. So now it's perfectly okay. If you want to add manually, also can. Add new, also can. Import from library, import folder. If let's say you are using EndNote, you want to import your EndNote, EndNote library to the Mendeley, also can. If you use BibText, also can. If you use Zotero, also can. This, this is another software, okay? Import library from here, folder from computer, and so on, okay? And add reference manually, also can. Okay, this one manually. Okay. Okay. Before that, okay, I want to uh, teach you something important before I go to the manually search. When you read these articles, okay, for example, you read this article. Let's say uh, you read this article. Eh? Okay. What you can do with this article? Normally, you cannot do when you open in Adobe PDF. But with Mendeley Desktop, you can do wonders. What you can do is, let's say you read this article. And suddenly you feel this is very important thing. You can highlight. You click this one, highlight. You don't like Yellow color, you can change also. You can change, uh, I think, eight colors, eight or nine colors. Okay, red also can. So next time you come, you know these are the important points. Highlight. Apart from highlight, what you can do? Okay, uh, this function is nothing. If let's say you feel uh, small, you can click full screen or zoom. Uh, I don't want to talk about this one. I'll talk about this. Okay. Note. You also. For example. This one. You can add notes. Okay. Add no whatever notes you want to do. You want to delete also can. Okay. Notes. Okay. Or you want to copy paste. Also can. You want to copy paste this one? Copy. Okay. Uh, you can do three things. Okay, as I told you, you can. Right. Okay. You highlight like this. <laughs> right click. You can highlight. You can add note. You can copy. Okay. If you highlight, you know. Let's say you want to copy. You can copy, also can, from here. Okay, this one. Okay, another one is, you can do notes, you know, for example, this one. You feel this is very important statement for the problem statement. Okay, let's say, uh, however, uh, this is a problem statement. Okay. Uh, okay. Highlighting the gap. This statement, highlighting gap. However, there is still need for a deeper understanding of how personality and work-related attitudes. So, they go, they highlight the gap. So, you want to put a note. Gap for study. You can put later. You can open back. In order to read, read again. Okay, read and read and read again. No one. Okay, you can put. Apart from this, another way is 
you can put tax for your article. Let's say this article you want to put tax. What tag you want to put is up to you. Okay. Tag. You click tag, let's say tag, uh, problem statement. Okay. Then you go do like this. Okay. Gap. And same goes to the another article. You go to this article. You also uh, tag. Okay. Problem statement. Ah. It's already there. Right? You can choose. And you can put gap. That means you can recall back after that. So Mendeley is not only reference manager. You it can help you for the fast reading. Okay. Okay, sorry, yeah. I'm not feeling well. Actually. <laughs> what this function. Once you put tag, what you can do? You go here. You can filter by tag. You want to filter by all the tags. Maybe you have, I have a lot of tags in my original one. This is a training one. Okay, gap. I click gap. Oh, these two article is for the gap. Oh, problem statement. Uh, this article for the problem statement. You can recall. You can recall the article, one of the function. Apart from this, what you can do is, uh, what are the differences between Mendeley and other software? Okay. Ultimate function, site and reference. We call it site while you write, C-W-Y-W. But another difference, for example, Mendeley and the EndNote, the major difference is uh Mendeley not directly connect to the database. Now it's connected. How it's connected, I will show to you. EndNote last time it will connect to the, all the library database and so on, you know. Okay, I have EndNote, but uh, I don't want to touch about EndNote because otherwise it will take a long time. Uh even I have uh If you want manual, I have a manual. Even I have a training slide. Last time I conduct some training on EndNote. Now very rare. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mendel Desktop will save your document in the computer as well. Okay. Good question. Eh? Later I will show to you. I forgot to show to you. Okay. Where does Mendeley keep your documents? Uh, you go to Tools. You go to Option. And you go to file organizer. Actually, you know, uh, I don't want to. This one, you can connect to the some connection, you know, but this one, when you have a problem of the network uh, blockage and so on, okay, you forget about this one. Uh, file organizer, okay, organize my file. <laughs> my files in this. Please, I click browse. For example, I copy this one. Or I can click open folder. Okay. Okay. Or I can go to the browse. Okay. This one, if you want to change the set up okay i go to the open folder in so on you see my files is here by author name why is my author name author name because I choose year, title, author name. If I change, it's going to be different. Okay, let's see. Because I want by journal name. If 
You can check by general name. What are the articles? Or you want sort according to the year. You drag and drop here. And you drag year and drop here. So now you can see by year. Apply. Open folder. Boom. It will ah. So you know by year. So by clicking this one, you know what are the latest articles. I think I answer the question. This is a how to see a saved file. It will save in the computer and also, hey, doctor can't see your slide. What about others? Can you see? Hello. Okay. Can I? So, tools option. Open folder, Windows Explorer. Uh, this is your location of your file. This one by year. If I change, I remove this. I put uh, author. It will come by author. Apply. Uh, this one by author. You see. Okay. Another one, another important function. Okay. Uh, create group and also create folder. Okay. If let's say you publish paper, you click my publication. You can drag your publication as well. What is this? Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, Dr. Mativanan, uh, the slide is static. Cannot see uh, the slide. Different name. That's why. Yeah. Boleh, yeah. Uh, slide static di tempat yang sama. Uh. Ah. Okay. Now okay? Not uh, seeing the slide yet. Still uh, sharing the content. Cannot see yet. Uh, cannot see. I. Probably okay, now time. I share again. Okay. I share again. Eh? Right. Now you can see? Uh, not yet. What about others? Not yet. I'm connected to the internet. Same. Right? <laughs> Actually, sir, we cannot see certain things there, to be honest. Is it? Okay, now you see all the people, am I right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, now I share it. Eh? I share again. See my screen? Still not seeing the content yet. Still sharing. Oh my God. Probably it takes I a few seconds to... Now can? Uh, no, sir. Still cannot see. Yeah. No, still sir. sharing the content. This one? Uh, yeah. Not appear yet. I'm connecting to the internet, which is very fast. Okay. My internet connection is 61 Mbps. 65. Okay. Uh, let me go out and come again. I switch, I end, I leave meeting and come back again.
Yes, I think now we can see initially. Now you can see the screen? Yes. Okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, I have connected to the very fast internet. Still, what problem? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, back to the question. Let me repeat again. Uh, can we see the file that we save? You can see. You go to option. And you go to file organizer. This one document detail. Uh, this one is different. Okay. Document detail mean if let's say general article, what are the things you want? Title, author, abstract, tag, general name, volume, pages, URL, and maybe you want DOI. Now DOI is very important. Eh? Or you want edition, institution, you can choose. Later you can see all of that in the in the this, you know, metadata. Okay. This one, eh? okay. File organizer, you can see your files. For example, uh, your files in the C, this place. How to go? You click this one. Open folder in Windows Explorer. Uh, now it's arranged according to the author. But I don't want according to the author. What I can do is I remove this. I drag and drop. I click here. And I apply. Now I go, it will come according to the year. Like this. Okay. So you can check which one is the latest. If let's say your friend asking, hey, can you share the latest references? Uh, you copy and give to him. Very easy. Okay. Okay. So these are the important functions. Apart from this function, another function is you can create folder and you can segregate your files. Okay, for example, let's say uh, digital marketing. So I create one file. So maybe, uh, sorry, folder. I create another folder, uh, work engagement. So two folders, now empty, am I right? So what I can do is I go to all documents. I copy. I, not copy, I re, I how to say I relocate or I move. Maybe I can click control. Okay, click control. I can choose many files. And I can move to uh, which whichever I want. Okay, work engagement or digital marketing. Okay, let's say digital marketing. Boom. So I release. So in digital marketing, we have three files. Okay. When we move the file to the digital marketing, doesn't mean it will disappear from the all documents. It's still here. It's just duplicate. It's not going to consume your space. It's not two files. One file is just a mirror. It's just a mirror. That is folder function. So I can put, okay. And I put in work engagement. You click and it will come number. Okay. And it will highlight, release. Okay, sorry, I rename engagement. Okay, okay. So <laughs> this is one of the function. The another function is okay. Uh, create group. As I told you, if you are running or if you are uh, writing a paper in a group, you can use this. Way create group, and what you can do is you create a group name. Okay, let's say uh, <laughs> FRGS research, and you want to invite people. Let's say um, I want to invite another person, another friend. Okay, so I can click, and it should be email that connect to the Mendeley. Okay, let's say I connect to this one. Okay, send invites. So it will go to my invitation. You see, I received the invitation. So I joined this group. Okay, 
So when I keep any files over here, the person I invited will receive the same file and will be updated in his mentally, his or her mentally. Let us try. Okay, let's say I move this file to my FRGS research. I just create a mirror, you know, I, I'm not relocating here. Yeah? I just create a mirror. So now we have uh, two files. Okay. Let's say, okay, I connect to the, my friend's account. I can see this group. Let it be, uh, let update, uh, uploading a file. Okay. You can see here, uh, upload file. So now, uh, you see here, uh, I go, I sign out. Okay. I go to Mendeley Desktop with the new account, which I share. Okay. I go to madhivandan at uum.edu.my. Sometimes it will repair the database, yeah? don't be surprised. Okay, now. So I have, you see, okay, there. Okay, already joined. Wait, uh, let me try this one. Sometimes it will take time. Once connected, okay. But that function is not uh, so important unless you do the uh, collaborative work, okay? It's still sinking, yeah. But okay, uh, it will function. Don't worry. Okay, uh, that is the way. Invite, and it will be collaborated, and you can see the groups over here. Okay, let me check. It will take time sometimes. Okay. Uh, I move back to the training. This one, huh? Okay, FRGS. Okay. 
So back to this one. Oh my God. Uh, Okay, sometimes it will give error. Don't worry, don't worry about that. Okay. Okay, so now it's connected. Okay. So now, another important function before I end the session with the citation and references. Okay. You go to Mendeley, there is one important function, but very few people use this function. You go to Mendeley.com. And you connect to the account that you connected. Uh, not this account. Connect. Okay, sign in. As I told you, okay, as I, as, as I covered all the functions, tools, install web importer, word plugin, get Mendeley site, okay, view the thing, okay, and also I have uh, explained to you how to update your library, okay. In this Mendeley, there are two different search functions. For example, you can search when you have, um, let's say, more than 1,000 documents, it's very difficult to search one by one. So what you can do is, you can use this function, work engagement. Ah, so it will show, uh, where is the work engagement? Ah, here. So you can click work engagement and open. Ah, very easy. Okay. Apart from this function, you can use another function. You can filter your uh, articles based on the this function by author keywords, author my text and publication. Okay, how it detect the keywords? Keywords detected from here. Every article it will detect the keywords. You see, so career, nurses, work engagement. So that is a keyword. So it will detect it, and you can use that one. Let's say filter by author keywords. Okay. Uh, let's say work engagement. Uh, you can search here and uh, so these three articles, two articles are work engagement. So you can search within the Mendeley desktop. Okay. Apart from this, there is another function. You go to Mendeley.com. This search function, super. Okay. Let's say you are searching about Smart retailing. <laughs> Remember, you don't search like this because this is a term. So I use this smart retailing, then I search. So, what I can do with this search function, you can filter, you know by year you can see the trend of your the keywords ah, you see and you can filter by journal and you can see which journal is published high number of paper okay for example if let's say you uh, want to search about work engagement ah, you see this work engagement term is highly research variable. You don't go and say, oh, this is a less research paper, less research variable. People will laugh at you because work engagement perfectly researched and every year they keep on research about this one. And which journal published many papers about work engagement, frontier in psychology. Uh, for your information, this journal also got issue eh, in Malaysia, frontier, okay? And other papers. Uh, this journal also got problem sustainability. Okay. So um, you can check, and also you can see 
who is the top author for the work engagement? Arnold Becker. For example, if let's say I go to the smart retailing, smart retail. Of course, I know Pantano. Pantano is the top author in my area. Okay. Uh, and, and I know now most of the papers published in the you see, technology forecasting, competing human behavior, top generous. Okay, top generous. So you can understand some uh, fundamental or some anatomy. Okay, anatomy about your research. What else you can do? You can use this function, you know, A and D, Malaysia. So, uh, many people do about work engagement in Malaysia also. I see. You don't say in Malaysia, nobody do about work engagement. You cannot say because people can say, if I'm an examiner, I will check like this. I know. Okay. And also you can check let's say performance you can check uh, employee performance and work engagement relationship it will give and another important function is uh, let's say you search about this one and you can add directly to your mendeley you click this one but the problem is, um, it won't include the PDF file. Okay, if you want to include PDF file, get full text. Okay, get full text. Uh, then only you can. Okay, you can update manually, but once you add in your library, then you get the full text somewhere else. You can include in your Mendeley and it will be combined. It is not going to be uh, two different word references. For example, if let's say, you see, I add library, okay, uh, this one, uh, add to library, again, and view PDF. Then I can keep in watch folder. Okay, you see. So this is the new paper, which I downloaded. Okay. I add to library manually. Then I download into watch folder. It's already here. You see, developing employee productivity. Just now, this paper, I just put add to library without PDF. Then after that, I view PDF. I download a, and I put in, uh, I mean, I keep in um, manually watch folder. So it's already updated. This is one of the way to quickly update your library. But this one, not available. Why? Because no PDF. International Journal of Manpower, a study of artificial intelligence, this paper. So I have to download this article, get full text. I try to get it. So not available, okay, I cannot get. And apart from this function, what you can do is related. You can let this article search another article related. You click related, performance and work engagement, am I right? It will search related to that one, almost related, you see? Same, you click this one, you click related, it will search. Social media and employee innovative performance. Am I right? Uh, you see the impact of social media use on the employee work performance. Similar article. Influence of social media communication on employee innovative work behavior. 
similar article. It means this manually can find out for you similar article in order to go and check manually. Uh, this is one of the important function in Mendeley.com. Okay, so I think that's it. I go for the last part of the training. Just two hours, so I have to compress. Okay, now how to cite. So now I have a lot of references over here. Many references has been accumulated. So what I should do? Okay. Before that, there are important function. I will teach you while I'm doing citation. Okay. Let's say now I start to do citation. Okay. Just hold on, wait, hold on. Eh? One minute, okay. <laughs> now we go to citation. Okay. It's very simple as I uh. <clears throat> Shown to you early of the training. Okay, let's say you want to cite according to. According to, go to reference, instead citation, and make sure you choose the APA 6 or 7 or whatever is it. Okay, let's say I choose 6 instead citation. I go to Mendeley. Sometimes if you know the author name, you can go also here. Let's say A. Maybe you know the author name or article name. Let's say work engagement. Ah. Oh, you know this article. You straight away you can cite. Otherwise, you go to Mendeley. Okay. Let's say I want to cite this paper. Okay, I cite. According to. Okay. This one, not correct. Am I right? Because it's supposed to be according to. Uh, what you do, uh, you highlight and drag and drop. Keep manual edit and you remove this. There are a few ways, but this is the quickest way I can do. Okay. This is according to one author. If many authors, for example, according to Okay. Like this, what you can do? If AP6, okay, become like this, you know, AP6. Okay, I'm talking about AP6, not AP7. Not simple, you know, it's supposed to be A and D. Am I right? In text citation, this is we call it parenthetical citation. This one, in text citation, which is narrative. Both is in text, but this one parenthetical, this one is narrative. Okay. Okay, that's the case. But if let's say you go for the, uh, uh, sorry, this one is parenthetical. Both is, par uh, uh, both is parenthetical. Okay. What about in text narrative? Okay, in narrative like this. If let's say I want to add more, I can add more. But what you can do is you highlight and merge. <laughs> ah. So another one, just now one person asked me, doctor, what about page number? Okay. Normally when you quote page number, you will put, you know, you will do some like, uh, how to say, uh, ah, direct quotation. Okay. Um, according to, okay, according to, okay, uh, someone like this, okay.
Let's see. Am I right? So this one, according to what you can do is, okay, let's say I put according to, keep menu edit, and you want a page number, am I right? Okay, wait there. Uh. Okay, let's say according to intercitation. Uh, let's say according to Chia and this one. Uh, okay, so I take this name. Okay, okay. hit menu edit. I go here. Okay. Before you do this one, what you can do is when you click this one, you click the name, it will come up with the edit citation. Edit citation. Okay. You click this and you can put the page number here. You see? So now you move this one. But you must know the rules. Eh? Rules of this one, when you put the page number, it means it mean it's a direct quotation. You can collapse and direct quotation supposed to be like this. Ah. Normally, when you cite the textbook, not in the journal. Normally in the, when you cite a textbook or chapter in book, or you want to direct quotation, you can do like this. Okay. But I don't know about the APA 7 rules because I have not read completely. Okay. So now we want to, is there any question? No question. Eh? Oh. Okay. Now I want to go for the reference. So what I can do, I go to the new page, break the page. References. So what I can do, I go here and I click references. Insert. Don't go for, go and look for the insert references. Eh? The name is insert bibliography. Okay, bibliography. Boom. Done. So what you can do is, this one because of this. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. This one is because of the, you know, uh, the format. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. So, what I can do, then maybe you want to uh, justify, also justify, cat. Nice. Okay. Now, all the uh, reference is okay, but sometimes what happened, you know, sometimes it's happened like this. Okay, for example, do you see this one needs review? Needs review means this one, uh, maybe the issue is not updated and some something missing here in the metadata. If this one missing, you cite, definitely your reference is going to be error. That's why sub exhibitor comment and student defend. I'm using Mendeley. I'm using Mendeley. I'm using Mendeley. No, no, no. It's about user, not about Mendeley. Mendeley never make a mistake. The user. User need to update. How to update? You click. You see. Okay. The things 25. Issue. Uh, no issue. So no issue mean? Leave it. Details are correct. If let's say. If let's say. I, okay, let's say this article, no title, and I say, uh, okay. So you know what happened when I cite? Okay, let's say I cite. 
This is a major mistake by students. Okay. This is no title right. What happened when you cite? It's going to be like this. But in, you see, there is no title. Am I right? Something wrong here. Title got, but uh, you see here. Yeah? Okay. okay. I, I used another one. Huh? Let's say I use. Okay, I use this word. Okay. Some here. Okay. Let's say I do citation. Eh? Sorry, yeah, that's now. Okay. This one, into citation. I go here. Some here. Okay, because it detect. Okay, sometimes okay because it detect the previous uh, information. Okay, let's say I do like this. Uh, very simple. Okay, I have general article. I put like this. Author name is. Uh, okay. General X Y Z. Okay, year two thousand twenty four. Okay, safe. Okay, and before that. It needs review. Make sure all the information correct. If correct, details are correct. If not correct, you change it accordingly. But normally, ninety percent perfect. Uh, like this, not correct. Gong. Okay. So let's say I cite this article. Huh? You see Gong. Okay, Gong. Okay, and also uh, another one, my article. I just now I manually edit right. Okay. So wrong. Jagan eh? Okay, you see. This one, no information. Am I right? So how to update this one? You don't go any edit here. What you have to do is, if let's say your reference is missing like this, what you do is you go here and you update here. You update general of technology. <laughs> Year 2024, volume 4, issue 3, pages 12 to uh, 19. Okay, that's it. That is most important. Title is... Cloud computing. Okay. Now I have updated. What I can do is now I go and just refresh. My reference list will be okay. You see. You see. I did not correct it manually. Okay. And everything is updated. So whenever you write continuously like this. Okay. And you insert citation, let's say you insert Z. Let's say you go for the uh, Z. It will arrange automatically Z, it will go last. You see? Okay. Another way of updating, okay. Let's say this article, no title. So all information missing you face difficulty to update manually. So what you can do is, you go down, you copy DOI of article, okay? For example, this article, eh? okay. No information, all gone. You don't need to copy and paste title, Author name. What you can do is you go down. There is a DOI. Am I right? Digital object identifier. You copy and paste this. This one. You just copy. It's already here right now. 
once you copy paste like this okay i copy okay and i paste here and i click this one automatically will be updated look up boom you see auto updated so you don't need to worry about that that's why doi is very very important okay doi is very very important okay i think that's it from my side uh sometimes i have to go fast sorry yeah i have no choice <laughs> okay is there any question that i have not uh answered I'm just sorry sir about sir, the attendance sheet sir uh pardon uh, about the attendance sir if it's well, we just joined the class sir but we, i missed the attendance I can't hear you clearly, brother. For the attendance. Attendance will be shared after this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I think most of the question I have, uh, the question of page number of article on the reference list, still on the question. Uh, Nura Badamasi, I can't understand your question. Okay, uh, Valentin Samir, uh, Zotero versus Mendeley. Your question is a very hypothetical question. So it's not possible to answer. Okay, Zotero AI versus Mandalay. Okay, it's up to you which one is convenient for you. Okay, I, I use Mandalay. Even nowadays, you know, uh, they update a lot of AI tools. But don't trust AI tools. Uh, sometimes you write something, AI recommend to you certain citation. But when we check that citation, uh, Never tell about whatever you mentioned. Wrongly cited. <laughs> Zotero AI, uh, I have no experience using that. But EndNote, okay. Okay, is there any other questions from the floor? Actually, uh, Zotero AI, uh, uh, maybe I can tell. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I actually, I want to reserve my answer, but never mind. I can. Actually, Zotero, it's actually collaborate with the Jenny. Jenny AI writing. Jenny, a lot of people are using Jenny to write the articles and also the thesis. Okay? J-E-N-N-I is an AI writing tool. So, Zotero, you can use all of that you know, in a journey, but I cannot show to you that one in this class. Yeah. If you want to explore, you go and explore journey. Okay. Anyway, this is yours, not AI. I think the recorded version will be published. Yeah. There will be a uh, this talk uh, recording will be available at uh, postgraduate Facebook. Okay, sorry, uh, uh, sometimes I cannot pronounce certain words because of my sore throat problem. That's why I keep on coughing, eh? not feeling well. <laughs> okay, if uh, there is no questions anymore from the uh, participants, so uh i would like to thank uh our speaker which is uh, ts dr matibanan for today's uh talk sessions uh introductions to uh, mendeley uh and also i uh, would like to thank all of the participants uh for spending their time to join this talk today and uh i think that's all thank you once again ts dr matibanan for the impactful and uh resourceful of information about mendele i hope everybody have lots of uh new uh, knowledge and things about mendele uh and i will leave to the committee to share the attendance once again so everyone thank you very much and have a nice day thank you thank you
थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल द बेस्ट हैप्पी राइटिंग टीसी थैंक यू सर